Welcome to HubSpot with Paragon, questions edition. Today we're going to answer a question from Anna Kellett. Anna's question is, I've just created a workflow to create renewal deals when a customer signs up to our services. Deal one closed as one and workflow creates renewal deal. I want the workflow to continue creating deals year, I'm assuming year over year, year on year. But when deal two enrolls the second time, it says the enrolled, the enrolled deal was created by this workflow. So this action will skip to prevent an infinite loop. Either is there a way uh, to get around this? Yes, um, there is. And really what it, what it is is about the criteria. And I think we're just missing some criteria. And I know that you had some other answers um, previously. And so I want to see if I can take it a step further for you. So I'm going to show you an example here, Anna, um, of the kind of a same deal. In this case, your enrollment um, is that a deal stage hits close one. And then what I've added in is another criteria that says the close date is less than one day ago. Um, that way, when you're trying to re-enroll, you can use that as a re-enrollment criteria. That way, deals that were previously closed don't keep coming back into the loop. This could also be set up by looking at additional items, such as maybe the deal name has changed. There's something I'm assuming that has changed in terms of this being closed one. If every deal was closed one, then something's missing. So something about the renewal date um, is a part of it. So you may want to look at filters like the deal property is a date field. Maybe it's a um, renewal date field that you create. In this case, we chose close date. And when I choose that, I can actually get all these options of that it's been updated in the last day. So if it was updated that you put the renewal day in or is known or um, is, is inserted, then it would be put in there. If that is part of the deal creation, of what that date is, then we could do, um, you know, is is after a certain period um, or is after another property or before another property. So you could create some different windows there. Either way, the point here is that when you have a date associated with this as part of that, that you can work off of, then it no longer creates an infinite loop because now it's looking for a specific criteria so that it's not over creating. And then when you're doing your enrollment criteria um, for this, Go back over here for your re-enrollment. When you turn it on, it's now going to look for the deal stage and that close date. If I just did deal stage, this would create um, uh, an infinite loop and probably wouldn't let me save. Let's see if it does. It probably will just because I'm on video. But technically, it won't re-enroll that because it will say that it will create a loop, I think is what you're seeing. So I'm going to actually turn on the close date as the renewal. And now if I create a deal and the close date is less than one day ago, then it will recreate it. And you could do more than one day or less than one day. Just think about what your schedule is on when your close dates would be. And then it would create the new deal. When you create the new deal, in order to not trigger this off again immediately, because otherwise it'll just keep creating them in the future, um, you need to have some sort of cr set criteria on your, um, on your deal property. Um, so there needs to be a property on the deal record that can be adjusted um, for when a deal needs to create a renewal. So it may be based on when the close date is, um, which would be maybe the renewal date. So if the close date was a year, a year ago, maybe it's 365 days ago is when the close date was, date was, then it would trigger off, um, for that new deal. So those hopefully give you some ideas of how to adjust this and create, um, not so much an infinite loop, but a, a, a re-enrollment is what you're really looking for. Hopefully this helps and Please subscribe to our channel and continue to ask us questions about HubSpot and we'll see what we can do to help you.